In this workshop I'm going to talk about multi-use systems and go through a little bit of the history and development that I've found through teaching my sidemount course for the past seven years. I am one of a very few number of people who solely specializes in teaching sidemount and that's given me the chance to take divers from many different skill levels, countries around the world, train them in lots of different courses, recreational, technical, and I've used a variety of side mount systems. When I first started training people, it was with using multi-use systems, and this is something that you can put a back mount twin set on. You can also then use it for side mount as well. The first system I'm going to discuss is the Armadillo, and this is by Gollum Gear. In 2010, this was pretty much one of two um, multi-use side mount systems that you could commercially buy. I didn't actually start out using the Armadillo harness. It was the Razor One, which is a side mount only system, and I was using a modified hydration bladder for my buoyancy device, and I was doing advanced cave diving in Mexico. Shortly after that, in 2009, I wanted to teach others to side mount, but not in the caves, actually in the open water environment. And for obvious reasons, the system I was using myself just wasn't suitable for teaching others safely to use so this got me looking on the commercial systems available and that's why I started out using these multi-use systems such as the Armadillo and the Nomad and Hollis system which I'll show you later in this video. With me coming from a cave learning background in terms of side mount I never wanted a bulky system I wanted everything to be refined and as streamlined as possible. Now the Armadillo did work pretty good as a all-round system to be fair to it. It's a horseshoe wing as you can see there and it has these gusset control cords running on the inside so they don't create snagging hazards but they stop the wing from tackling around. The modifications I made to it were adding a continuous bungee through the back just like the razor system and then I added fixed steerings onto the waist and they're what I used to control the cylinders not the rails on the butt plate. It's also good that it has a simple webbing harness as no system really needs those comfort pads, pinch buckles and fancy straps and extra D-rings. The other system commercially available at the same time was the Nomad system made by DiveRight. I only have pictures to show you guys as it was quite some time ago now when I was using these kind of systems but I did customize them and it's the customizations which I want to share with you. However, I can't imagine anybody really buying a multi-use system anymore as the sidebar only systems available now are so much more advanced and better to use. Straight away with the Nomad, I removed the bungee system they had 